I'm Jamal Wilson. I fly a Cherokee 180 based at beautiful Maryland Airport in Indian Head, Maryland. And I'm David Gray, the Surveillance and Broadcast Services Program Manager at the FAA. I've recently installed ADS-B out equipment on my aircraft, and I've asked David to come out and walk me through some of the benefits of the equipment. It's great to be back. I'm looking forward to hearing about your experience and about your equipment. Jamal, you told me that you equipped with ADS-B in and you have a UAT receiver, so that means you should have FISB data as well. I do. Can you tell me about what you see? Right, so what I have up here right now is the TFR that we're currently sitting under. Uh, the other product that I have selected is visibility so that I can see what it looks like in the immediate area that I'm going to be operating in. Uh, there's also other products that I can choose, but for this particular day, you know, TFR and visibility is what I'm looking at. We have over a dozen products that are being broadcast today, uh, including NextRat weather, pilot reports, uh, winds aloft, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and in fact, later on in 2018, we have six more products that are going to come online. Oh, wow. Is there anything special that I'll have to do to be able to gain access to those six new products? Well, your equipment will need a software update from the manufacturer. Um, they're new products. It's new data, new formats, those kinds of things. So okay. you'll need to work with your manufacturer to figure out when that software update's available. Okay. Are there any other limitations uh, with the FISB data feed that I should be aware of? The main one is just being aware that sometimes the data can get old. Um, the update rates are on the order of minutes instead of seconds, and so sometimes a product that you're looking at might be uh, 10 or 20 minutes old or potentially even longer. Okay, so it sounds like as a strategic planning tool, the information here is very, very good, but I shouldn't let this replace a thorough pre-flight and any other information gathering uh, involved in flight planning. That's exactly right. Okay, good.